So I'll, I'll just say a, a few closing remarks, don't worry. But I think uh, this meeting, and for me in some sense, uh, was a snapshot of what we all are experiencing right now. And I think it's rare when this happens. We're experiencing not just a rev revolution in resolution, but I think a revolution in structure biology or even just biology. Uh, we're able through a cry OEM now to be able to visualize structures of interesting biological specimens that no one dreamed would be possible. But I think, and we've heard this in, in many of the talks today and in Richard's talk just now, one of the beauties of a cryo -EM is, of course, that you get uh, the possibility of N, alternative snapshots of different states of the molecule. So when you put them together, and we saw this in Chicago a talk and others, you're able to see, um, in some sense, almost like a video of a biological event. It's obviously, it's a morph, it's not a real video, but it's pretty close. And we, we can do this in x-ray crystallography, it's been done, but in cryo-EM, it's routine to be done. The other difference, of course, is the speed at which you can go from a dirty sample, as Richard was describing, to a structure. And sometimes you don't even need absolutely atomic resolution to get an idea. So my feeling is the impact that structural biology has had on biology has been enormous, but I think it's going to be dwarfed by what's in the future, in the next few years. And, um, but I think the other thing which came out from this meeting, although cryo-EM had centerfold, is that it's a multidisciplinary science. And we heard this in virtually all talks. There's mass spec, there's NMR, there's, of course, X-ray crystallography, there's chemistry, there's new computer algorithms and data science, and um, of course, molecular biology. So this, this permeated every, virtually every talk together with the, with the uh, uh, revolution resolution. The meeting itself, I think, um, worked out very well. The talks, and I want to thank all the speakers in the audience, were extraordinary. And also the coffee breaks and the lunch, because it gave us time, almost like a Gordon conference, to meet. One of the nice things in the talks I felt was how frequently one speaker referred not just to one, but to half a dozen other speakers in their talk by names of what was relevant. The other thing which I think also, and this is because it was a meeting between the Royal Society and the Israel Academy of Sciences sponsoring the meeting, we're seeing the number of large close ties that exist already between the UK and Israel. And I think many new ties probably were established here. I hope that this could be a, maybe the first of a series of meetings, possibly alternating between the UK and Israel. And I've talked to, to um, Venki and to, to Nili about this. Maybe this will come if, if we can find the, the funding. Um, one other thing that happened, happened in the coffee breaks, um, a number of people approached Sharon Wolf and Natav Elad. They approached them and they said, and we heard this screaming from Maytal's talk, that we have two microscopes. They were set up at the Weizmann by internal funding and, and, and so on. Couldn't we set up a national center for optical, not optical, but for imaging, biological imaging? And we discussed this. We had a short meeting with Nilia and Venki and Sharon and Nadav. Maybe this will come out as a fruit from this meeting as well, because it's really needed so that everyone in Israel can, 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 can do this. And so maybe in just closing, I'd like to just thank a few people. Yaakov, who's back there. Yeah. Yaakov, <laughs> it's, um, everything, everything worked well. Even the movies that didn't work, worked well. So um, I'd like to thank um, Natan, Richard and Venki for co-organizing the meeting. They chose the people, and I think the people um, who spoke did wonderfully. And the questions were very good, were excellent. And maybe um, in, in um, that's fine. <laughs> okay, so in the last person who, in addition to Neely and Venki, who really represented the societies, is Joe Cohen. Joe, 
She's, you can stand up, please. So. Joe's been marvelous. She kept us all on track, but she did all the work, and we want to thank her very much. We got her flowers, but she refused to let us give it to her here. But So thank you very much, and I want to thank everyone. Have a very safe trip home, and if I forgot someone, I, I apologize. Thank you.